Bellatro has completely ruined my life. I can't stop myself from coming back every day just to play one more hand and see how many chips I can win. So what? You have a gambling addiction? What? No, Bellatro doesn't use real money. It's just a video game. I don't understand. You're addicted to a video game? No. I mean, yes. I mean... Look, why don't I start from the beginning and explain to you how exactly Bellatro ruined my life. Bellatro was developed by Local Thunk and released on Steam on February 20th, 2024. On the surface, it looks like a simple poker game. However, once you start playing, you'll quickly realize it's much more complicated than that. The game consists of eight levels called antes, with three rounds per ante. In order to beat a round, you must score a certain number of points. Points are calculated based on what hand you play, what cards are part of that hand, and how challenging it is to create that hand. For example, a pair, which is only two cards of the same number, isn't worth that many points, but a straight, which contains five cards in numeric order, is worth a lot more points because of how challenging it is to draw those cards. You only have a certain number of hands you can play per round, so you need to decide if you want to play it safe and go for hands that are easy to create but not worth that many points, or take a bigger risk on harder hands but get a lot more points. Each ante has the same three rounds, a small blind which requires a small amount of points, a large blind which requires a large amount of points, and a boss blind which is an even larger amount of points with an additional challenge thrown in. Some boss blinds are easy, like cards with a diamond suit not scoring any points, and others are more challenging, like limiting the number of hands you can play or requiring a huge amount of points you need to succeed. While this might seem pretty straightforward, the secret that makes Bellatro so special isn't the standard 52 cards in the deck, it's all the other cards they have. Other cards? I thought poker only had 52 cards. I mean, unless you're counting the Joker card. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Bellatro does include the Joker. In fact, Bellatro has lots of Jokers, about 150 to be exact, but they don't function like all the other cards. Jokers offer different buffs and boosts to help you score points. There are some that give bonuses based on what hand you play, what suits you use, some that help you make more money, and some that have huge bonuses that have very strict requirements. But since this is a poker game, you don't get to pick which Jokers you get. Oh no, it's completely up to chance which ones are available. See, after you went around, you win some money that can be used in the shop to buy Jokers and boosts to help you in the next round. The store only sells two jokers, a voucher which is a permanent boost that you can use during the run, and two booster packs which contain two to five cards you get to choose from. Some booster packs contain jokers, some contain additional cards you can add to your deck, and some contain one of the other three booster cards, like celestial cards which increase how many points each hand gets during the run, tarot cards which can upgrade standard cards, provide other kinds of buffs, and help you tailor your deck to your playstyle, and spectral cards which offer a high reward but at a high price like removing cards from your deck or removing all of your money. I thought you said this was a poker game, but now there's joker cards, tarot cards, duplicate cards, multipliers. What even is this game? It's Bellatro, a deceptively simple game that hides a mountain of depth. It starts out simple enough, only needing a few hundred points per round, but it quickly adds up to needing tens of thousands of points. You're going to need to build crazy combos and multipliers if you want any chance of winning. What adds the challenge is how much of the game comes down to pure luck. You may have jokers that boost the amount of points you get from heart cards, but as soon as you go against a boss that avoids hearts, it'll throw a wrench in your strategy and you may need to rethink it. You might also want to play using only flushes, but as soon as you get a joker that majorly buffs straights, then it might be worth changing your strategy. Still confused? Well, I was too when I first started. I knew the game was very popular, but I thought it was just a poker game, so I bought it and played a couple hands, got through the first few rounds, no big deal. I was mostly playing pair since they were really easy hands to play, not really caring which suit or cards I used. Then I got my first joker, which gave me a nice little boost to my hands. Oh, neat I thought. I guess these jokers give me different kinds of boosts and buffs. I wonder how many there are. Well, like most people, I lost my first run, but I did learn a lot from it. So I played a few more. I discovered some new jokers, I played around with some strategies, and quickly learned that pairs weren't going to get me very far. So I switched to full houses and flushes so I could get a lot more points. I had about 10 games under my belt with no wins yet, but something kept drawing me back in. My original goal was just to win one run. I mean, there's only 8 antes and I was constantly getting to the 5th and 6th ones. I just needed something to get me through those last couple. Then, whether it was luck or skill, I was having a really good run. Like, a really, really good run. And I was able to pull it off. My very first win. And then, 2 days later, I got my second win. Then my third. Then I got the achievement for playing over 2,500 cards. Then I kept playing. And now, over a month later, I simply can't put the game down. I mean, 
things started off so simple. I just wanted to win once. Then I decided to win a round with every deck. Then I had to try out red stakes difficulty. Then I unlocked challenge mode, so I have to try these challenges. And oh look, I'm only missing two planet cards. Well, I better keep playing to unlock those last two. And wait, there's some challenging achievements? Well, I can unlock those pretty quick, just with a bit of luck, and I just need to keep playing. And wow, look at all these other things to unlock. Well, looks like I just need to keep playing and keep winning, and this round feels very lucky, so I better keep going and shoot, that's a tough boss. Well, I'll just reset and try again, because this run feels like a winner, and I just gotta keep playing, and I just gotta keep winning. I mean, I gotta keep winning, I gotta win it all. Wow, you sound like you really lost your mind over a video game. Maybe you need to take a break and go outside. What? Don't be ridiculous. I don't need to go outside. But you may be right. I guess I should play another game. You know, between playing rounds of Bellatro. Right, because the best way to get over an addiction is to substitute it with another addiction. Let's see here. What games are people playing right now? Hmm. Oh, here's one. Looks like a roulette game. Man, I guess casino games have really made a big comeback. Let's give it a try. Maybe I should have just gone outside.